In health news tonight, the flu outbreak across Connecticut. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa found out the numbers are likely to increase with the flu season now well underway. Sonia Darren, hospitals are seeing more patients with the flu or upper respiratory problems. And for someone with a weakened immune system, that could be deadly. There's a steady stream of patients in the emergency department at St. Francis Hospital and Medical yes. Center. Winnie Boyer arrived by ambulance. Oh, I have a lung condition. I only have one lung and I passed out at home. She passed out after coming down with the flu. Just hit me like a baseball in the park. Just, uh, I started aching all over and just started getting sick and weak and very weak and tired. We're seeing the same respiratory, cough, and kind of cold-like symptoms, but there's definitely much more flu than there was last year. Dr. Stephen Wolf is chairman of emergency medicine. Uh, it's not entirely clear there may be some viruses that are not covered by the vaccine, uh, and also that sort of ebbs and flows the the intensity of the virus uh, of the flu season. And so we've been lucky; we've had some mild flu seasons, so we were due for something. Washing hands cover when coughing and staying home when flu symptoms strike can keep it from spreading. But Dr. Wolf warns the rush to antibiotics not beneficial for most. Those people with other medical problems, respiratory illnesses, have a, a great, have a higher likelihood of then getting a bacterial infection after the viral infection. And so that's where antibiotics will help. Feeling stronger and no longer dehydrated, Winnie Boyer is going home and following doctor's orders. Still, she refuses to get the flu shot. Like I told the other lady, old dogs learn the hard way. <laughs> However, it's not too late to get the flu shot. Dr. Wolf says it could lessen the intensity of the symptoms. So far, they've treated nearly 40 patients with flu-like symptoms with flu season not winding down, he says, until March.